extreme. Spooky. Welcome to Extreme Spookies. I'm your host, Dangleman. Today, we're going to be talking about the Mothman. Now, Mothman, is he real? Is he legendary? Who can say, really? I hope the evidence that we present to you tonight will make you decide if he is real or whack. I'm Dangleman, and this is Extreme Spookies. Enjoy. When did you first see the Mothman? Well, man, let me tell you about this. Something about my Mothman. I got him and my uh, she, uh, my, my friends, Cheesy Joe, uh, Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift, um, all those people, and they were just talking about, yo, man. He's like, uh, uh, man, I wish something interesting was to happen, man. It's like, and, and I was just like, yo, man, we just gotta be patient. You know, you gotta take, you gotta stop and just like, smell the roses and just kind of think about it. And it's like, whoa! And then uh, as soon after we saw that, we got some, we, Mothman, Moth, 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 Mothman. He just came out of nowhere. He was just like, hey, I'm Mothman. And I was like, dude, yeah, you are Mothman. And man, you, you just gotta say. Like my band is like just chilling out and like you know he's just kind of thinking and he's just like my band is like you know where, where does this begin where does this end and my band is just like you know and like, I, you know there's no beginning to end of the my band he just exists he's a my band and the man and the man and the man and everything like that so yeah I saw my band so you want the story of Moth Man right yes how did you meet the Moth Man well you see I was uh. I was inside my kitchen, right? And I turn around, and Duh! the next thing I know, there he is. Terrifying. I ran, I ran into my, my kitchen closet to grab, grab my good old hat and this, this armor to keep me safe from him. But then when I came back out, he was gone. It's a demon from hell, I tell you. How long ago was this? You're him, aren't you? You. Get, get this, get this stuff off me. I don't think we should be out here this time of night. Stop being such a scaredy cat, you hecking hecker. I want to see if I'm going to get some reception out of here. What was your experience with Mothman? Uh, he kidnapped me. Can you elaborate? Didn't you see the intro? Do you remember anything from the incident? Uh, yes. What happened? He dragged me away to a shed in the woods. Do you remember what happened after that? Uh, yes, I, I, I kind of do remember. Uh, uh, it, it was very, very dark. What did he do? I don't know, I blacked out. What was your experience with the Mothman? I don't think, I think that Owen had the, I didn't have an experience, uh, except for that Owen got taken, but that's his experience, I was just there. Can you explain what happened? I I went to take a hashtag selfie and then posted to Twittergram and when I just looked up Owen was gone and I was like why did you do that to me man? Why did you leave? Have you spoken to Owen since his encounter? Sort of. Can you elaborate? I uh, I I talked to Owen, but it, I don't think it was he was the one talking. What do you mean? I think that the moth man implanted, implanted his larva into his mind and 
body and soul. What effect do you believe that this is having on Owen? I I don't know. I haven't really noticed any real effects yet. But I imagine that he eventually he will grow a a like pocket in his stomach and then he will and then the little moth men will grow inside him and when they come out of his uh the pocket out of his chest it's gonna be like it's gonna be right here and right about here they'll just explode out and killing him in the process and i don't know what i'll do when that happens Do you believe in the Mothman? Uh, no. I, I don't think that the Mothman's real. I think anybody that thinks the Mothman is real is a moron. They, they're just not smart people. I, I, I never encountered him, and I think all of it's folklore. Why do you think that? I... Uh, my, my buddies just keep on making up these rumors like, Oh man, I, I got attacked by the Mothman. Oh, jeez. And I just... I just don't... Them. But I, I, they don't have any solid evidence. Would you say that the hoax is made for any specific reason? Um, maybe the hoax is made just to make people feel better about themselves. I don't know. They're <laughs> they have such pitiful lives. I don't know. It's it's really silly about all the hoaxes that come up in the news these days about ghosts and werewolves and vampires, especially around Halloween. It just seems kind of silly. And you're sure you've had no experience with the Mothman? Well, there was this one time, alright? That was our presentation on Mothman. Such an interesting topic. Just remember everybody, as we think about Mothman, we need to keep each other in line and trust in ourselves and pray that he is real. Now, that was Extreme Spookies. My name is Dangleman. I'll see you later.